Good day friends, it is me HL Mod Tech, and today we are going to use Scanniverse to try and bring an object into Tinkercad. So let's get cracking. So let's run through some steps. The first thing you need is Scanniverse. It works good on iPhones. You can see there was one of my tests. It was a screwdriver. Today we're going to do a new scan. It's going to be that light switch. Now we are at my father's shop, which is pretty awesome. I've always enjoyed all his toys. It gives me way more room than I have in my area. As you can see, I've got this item on a tripod. Let's go through our steps. We are going to choose new scan. I am going to do a small object. That light switch is really tiny. And I'm going to set my range as small as it'll go. So I'm doing 0.3 meters, which is not much more than a foot. So now I'm going to move the iPhone to start. Let's zip in here and let me show you the process I've set up. Because I have this setting on a tripod, I can get a good angle and I can move around this and make it disappear. I'm trying to be super smooth. It does mention that when the object disappears from your screen, which I'll show you in a second, that is when it's getting it best. And I'm trying to be moderately smooth once again. And let's wrap it up. You can see it's all totally in there. Maybe get a little more from that angle. A little from above. A little from underneath. And let's hit stop. So at this point, our project looks like this. Once again, you can choose speed, area, or detail. I am going to choose detail. I'm going to let Scanniverse do its processing and notice it. It mentions that we do need to keep it open right there. The processing is complete. Now, if we look at that from every angle, that is pretty freaky awesome. Now, I do not need the tripod, so I will cut that off. But first, I'm just going to hit save. Let's give it a better name. Once again, I'm just clicking on the three dots. Instead of untitled scan, I'm going to add a title. And we're going to call this light switch and save and then I can return and we are going to make a couple edits. So the first thing I'm going to do under edit is I'm going to crop it. From the top I'm happy. From the left this is where I want to get rid of all of that down to the blue. So I'm simply zooming that in as close as I can. Notice we can pinch and zoom a little bit more as we get this closer to exact. Pretty happy with that. Gonna hit a check mark. If I spin that around, I'm pretty darn pleased. Notice there are gonna be pieces that aren't perfect, so you may end up having to do this once or twice. I could adjust the filters, the exposures, the sharpness. I'm gonna stay where I'm at though, and I'm gonna save it. I do also wanna measure it though. I want to start measuring at that end right there. I want to end measuring right there. And then what I'm checking here is that it actually shows four inches. So that makes me happy that it's the exact right size. That helps me on the next step where I hit share. And I want to export the model. I am going to export it as an OBJ. And to make this easier with everything I do, I'm going to save it to my Dropbox. And I'm going to save mine in my 3D modeling folder. And I'm going to choose upload. Now we can move to the PC and see just how cool this turned out. So here we go. Step one, I have open folders and here is our light switch zip. I'm going to right click on that and I'm going to extract it. I'm going to use the built in extract all. It'll make its own little folder. I don't care about it showing. Bingo. I'm just going to extract. With that completed, of course now we've entered Tinkercad. I'm going to click create brand new 3D design. I always start by naming it. We're going to call this one light switch. I'm going to just do SW to keep it quick. Click over here and friends we're going to choose import and we're going to choose a file. You'll need to find yours. Remember I stored mine in 3D modeling. It is also under light switch. I'm going to double click to enter that folder and there is the OBJ file. It could also be an STL file if you chose that. When it comes in, it's got weird measurements. Now remember I told you that we had inches and it was four inches long. 
So instead of 0 0.04, we're going to put a 4 there and press enter. Now when we hit import, it does all its little magic work. And after just a moment, we have got a scan of that light switch. Is it perfect? No. That is our first attempt. I will keep refining my process and see if we can get it so it works perfect. But at least that way, we do know how we can get an object. I am quite sure that the way I spun around my object was not precise enough. I will keep fiddling to see if I can come up with better steps. But at least now you know how to get an object and import it into Tinkercad. Friends, as I wrap up, I do want to take a moment to remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. Of course, I have got a tab dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of amazing categories. Also down below, you'll find day one favorites, useful starters, and the Tinkercad essentials. Finally, friends, don't forget in the corner, there is a sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. Friends, I do also want to recommend the link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, there are a boatload of members and it is a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.